Welcome to Art Starts Explores. I'm Kay, and I work at Art Starts as a gallery coordinator and preparator. I started the Explores program three years ago, and I'm excited to bring a version online that can be enjoyed by families across the province. Today we're going to explore the theme of collage. The word collage means to stick together in French. While most people think collage is only for visual arts, sticking things on a page, if we think about it, we can stick together a lot of things. Different kinds and different pieces of music can be stuck together to create new songs and musical styles. Quilting is when we take different pieces of fabric, sometimes with different patterns, and stick them together by sewing. Today, we are going to explore how the act of taking one thing apart and using those pieces to create something different can help us learn new ways of looking and creating. Let's make something new together. If you've never joined us for Explorers in the past, I want to take a quick moment to tell you about the three rules or guidelines we like to follow. First is respect. We practice respect for ourselves by listening to how we feel, respect for others by listening and sharing, respect for the land by acknowledging the nations and indigenous people who have served and continue to serve as guardians and stewards of the land, and by doing our best to be respectful guests as we learn and play here. Second is no expectations. Try not to plan too much before trying something today. If we get a picture in our heads about how something should turn out, we can be disappointed with ourselves when it doesn't. Try practicing surprise and always ask, I wonder what will happen if I... Third is that nothing is for keeps. In the gallery in Vancouver, we like to say, take nothing home with you except your experience. But since many of you are at home now, we challenge you to unmake everything you try today. This means, after you're finished trying something, try to disassemble or take it apart so you can use it again for something else. Try not to make any completed thing, and whenever possible, pull from your recycling bin to practice. And if it can still be recycled when you're done, put it back. Trying something new doesn't need to make something for keeps, and that's just what we're practicing today. Okay, on with our exploration. Today we're going to explore making a face, or a portrait, using collage. Specifically, our own face. Here's what I suggest to make a portrait using collage. Let's find a piece of paper for our base, or canvas. Scraps and recycled paper are great for art making. Remember, we're trying to make something that is not for keeps. This is where we'll stage or place our portrait. Some images, pictures, magazines, or scrap paper. If you're cutting out something, make sure you have permission first. Some scissors. But if your paper can be ripped, you don't even need those. If you have one, a portable mirror, reflective object, or photograph of your face. If you don't have one, that's just fine. Let's start with our eyes. If you have a mirror, take a look at your eyes. What shapes do you see? What color are they? What do you notice about your eyelids or eyelashes? As you look at your eyes, can you think of or find another object or shape that you cut out from a magazine or using the colored paper you found? When you find a shape you like, place it on the portrait stage. Keep going and find more shapes that match different parts of your face. Whenever possible, even if you find faces in magazines, try not to use an image of an eye or mouth for your portrait's eye or mouth. It's more fun and interesting to see what else you can use to make your portrait, rather than just using someone else's face and features. Really look at your face to notice what makes your face unique and awesome. When we cut out shapes or objects and images from a magazine and get them ready to use in our art exploration, they become something called ready-mades. They are ready to be made into something else. Think of them like buttons in sewing. When we start sewing, we don't make a button. We go get a button and add it to our sewing. It's the same thing in collage. Even if we're cutting out images out of a magazine, we're still going to use those to add to our picture. They're ready-mades. 
Collage can be so fun when you challenge yourself. While it's tempting to just use ready-mades you find in the same way as they were originally used, your collage will always be more interesting, unique, and rewarding when you consider your ready-made as something more than part of the original image. What colors and shapes are they? If you cut them or rotate the ready-made, what happens? Always ask yourself, what happens if I... and then try it out. There are lots of ways you can explore collage, and I've just suggested a few. Be sure to download our resource one-pager this week for additional questions you can ask each other, as well as some words you can use to challenge yourself when you're setting up a new collage. And don't forget, when you're all done playing and exploring, try to take things apart and put them away again so that the only thing that is left behind are the pictures in your brain. Thanks so much for watching today. Join us on Facebook Live or on our YouTube channel for more art making sessions on collage, where you can make at home or ask questions live or watch me practice too. Check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash artstarts or visit us at artstarts at artstarts.com slash explores online. I hope to see you then.